Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nadazar, back at you. Anyways, I just wanted to get into something real quick. And it's about the video that I made yesterday about this dude, Bosco 100. See, at the end of the day, there's a few cats that were trying to say that I was trying to downplay it at the same time, sneak diss him. There's, how, how do you sneak diss somebody when you make a video uh, directly, directly at them or to anybody that might have the same mindset? See... It's understandable. One dude said that he wasn't talking about Mexicanos. He was talking about Southerners. Uh, that's not what that's not what I heard, and that's not what I seen in the comments. But I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. The whole thing wasn't a call to arms. It was just basically let that dude know that he should be a little bit more careful on what he say. See, a lot of people tend to take things lightly and figure that it's really nothing. So I can pretty much say what I want. Uh, and before I even get into what I want to continue saying, shout out to Fat K in East LA. I said I'll just shoot you out. I shot you out. Now let's get back into it. So this dude Bosco, you know what I mean? You know, you got a lot of dudes on my page. And, and not only it, what's crazy is because it's not even really the Damus that say anything or the keyways. It's just these random dudes that feel some type of way about it. At the end of the day, it's like this. You know what I represent. It ain't never gonna change. I ain't never gonna fold. I ain't never gonna go and flip to the other side. It's just not gonna happen like that. And for the ones that are intelligent enough to figure that out, they've already got past and they either left my channel or they support me now. Uh, for the ones that continue hating and feel like they need to make their point valid on here uh, are, are, are the ones that they always want to be on some hate mongering shit talking about, oh, I should uh, I should represent blacks in a, in, a, in a certain light. For one, in prison, you would try to kill me. So it's just get that shit up out the way right there. You know what I mean? Uh, there's only certain dudes I'm going to actually fuck with and the rest, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be uh, the type to be all buddy, buddy. I'm going to be good with the fools that's good with me and the ones that ain't good with me, they can go somewhere with it. It's, I, I'm, I'm not looking for your validation. I'm not looking to be uh, super pro-black. That ain't never been me. I got family members like that, but that ain't me. I represent that double S, will continue to represent that double S, and I'm going to die repping that double S, and it's just the way it is. But see, after a while of, do, of dealing with that, you learn to elevate and take it to the next level. In order to be anything in this world, you got to work. You got to be productive in society and you got to change your ways if you're thugging it. See, a lot of you are so stuck doing the same thing that you don't know nothing different. So when you see somebody on here actually talking something outside of blowing fools domes off, you don't know how to take it. You'll listen to a million rap songs and figure that that's the way of life, especially for the ones that have ne never actually participated in it. So are they're out of town and they assume that everything in Cali is a certain way. Cali has got watered down to the point that anybody can gangbang. That's what I'm saying. Any, anybody, you got cats that, that get in and, and ain't really with the function and, and then get found out later and they go out backwards. That's what I'm talking about. People hate the simple fact that I just ain't watered down. You can assume that I'm a pussy and assume all this old crazy shit, but at the end of the day, you can never take away the fact that I did almost 14 years on all the higher yards and I'm still walking around this motherfucker with a good name. See, that's what hurts you. That's what upsets you. The fact that I stayed a rider for where I'm from, Sunland Park, and I continue to do that. Now that I tell you I ain't out there on the street messing around, you feel some type of way and feel like you need to validate a point and feel like you need to get yours off your chest. But I, I merely brush you to the side because I, I take nothing you say seriously outside of threats. But if I you threaten me and I see you on the street, it's a whole different story. And that's no, you know, saying I'll do anything. That's just you, you need to learn how to respect your position and respect my position. My position is I've always represented for me. I know this is where I'm from. Uh. And that's just the way it is. If you feel like somehow I'm, I'm doing you an injustice by not representing you, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if I say black, what do you want me to say, nigga? That, I don't talk like that, you know what I mean? I don't really talk like that. So to come out and anybody that know me know I don't really talk like that. Maybe when I, me and my family are chilling or something, but as far as like be out there and I just gonna call homie and nigga, that, that ain't never been my stilo. So just like you got homies that say it and that's in, in me, the way I talk, Savis, it's not their stilo. It's just where you grew up, how you grew up and what you ch chose to embrace. So for the people that don't understand that fact, you need to either grow up or shake my page. Anything I say about blacks is automatically taken, uh, you know, in a bad way. But I understand it. You're you're hate monger and you're looking for some reason to dislike me. Let me do you a favor. You don't have to look for a reason. Just dislike me and keep it pushing. That's just plain and simple. If you're on my page, you want to be on some racist stuff, keep it pushing. You talk you talk mess about Mexicanos and they say that they're racist, but yet most of the people in here disrespecting them are black. 
you know what I'm saying? Looking for issues. And, 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 and it may not even be black. Maybe you're just some troll. At the end of the day, you knew what channel you were coming to. You wanted to hear my story. I told you my story. The fact that I ain't a blood or a crip hurts you or that I'm not uh, some type of pro-black uh, Black Panther, whatever. It hurts you. It's understandable. Get over it. It ain't never going to change. I'm already 40 going on 41. It's never going to change. I'm always going to be this. The only thing that changed that's different with me is I'm actually trying to elevate and take it somewhere and actually, uh, uh, you know, actually be more productive in this world besides just a vagabundo out there laying fools on the ground. Because I can tell you from the fact that there's a lot of cats that know that they got the business messing with me, but that's past. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, you can continue living like that, but at the end of the day, the only way uh, you're going to come out of that on top is if you're dead. See, and, and, and I think a lot of cats that, that you know, want to continue representing that are going to probably end up dead. And it's sad that instead of changing your life around and actually becoming something and taking care of your family, you'd rather be on here talking mess to me uh, and smoking blunts and you got your, your, your kids and, uh, you know, living from home to home. You ain't even having your own business, so you want to come on here and criticize me about being something uh, that, that's not up to your standard. Let me just reiterate the fact. I'm not worried about uh, being validated amongst the blacks or validated amongst the elders or validated any of that. At the end of the day, uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I'm just me. I don't disrespect bloods. I don't disrespect crips. I don't disrespect blacks. I call it how I see it. It's a whole different form of unity. If, if you had the same unity that my homeboys had, then we'd be talking something different. But deep down inside, you already know where to go. You already know where to go because there's a lot of cats that were positive and were able to make it up out of the ghetto and dudes continue to bring them back. You got dudes that'll go back to their neighborhood and instead of the push, uh, dudes pushing them in a positive path, the first thing you want to do is get them to robbing. How, this dude makes millions. Why would he want to go steal from a store? But you'll do something stupid because deep down inside, you hate it. It's like a bucket. Full of animals just tearing each other down constantly. You know what I'm saying? If this dude's going to make it out, you're mad that you can't get the same status or you feel uh, that he should somehow give you the same money that he's making. See, that's the thing. That's it's, it, That's why, like, with politics, you you got these people that, you know, they're, they're socialists. So they believe everybody should be on the same playing field. I don't believe that. I believe that you should make it out of whatever situation you're in by your own merit. I'm making it out of my own situation by the simple fact that I'm talking on camera. I'm making something on YouTube. Is it anything that's really big? No, but little by little people are starting to know me. And I might actually make something uh, really positive. I might actually be able to turn somebody's life around. But, of course, you got these haters that like to come on here and say what they say with no real valid argument. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Uh, uh, one dude asked me that uh, about saying if I had a Boricua accident. I, that's crazy. Look at dude. I talk the way I talk because that's how black skins talk. And I'm not saying half make. I know. I'm saying the simple fact that I grew up in Navarro with nothing but cholos. Entiende me. You know what I mean? Understand that, dog. It's no fake. It's no me trying to be validated by by Mexicanos. I've already got my respect from my homies. They don't have to respect every black dude that, that gets into a vodka. It's just that you're going to earn yours or you're going to get booted. That's just the way it is. There's black dudes that have been from vodka that have had to sock out because they wasn't really with the business. A lot of dudes that have got in here thinking that it's all sweet and that, oh, they want to get in because of the high knives and, and the money and all that. Then they see what it's really about. Then they go to jail when they face that opposition like I faced and they break. So they get socked out or blasted. It's just a simple. But and that's not even, you know, this is more of a rant, but it's just a, for the people that continuously come on my channel asking me why, why what? Why join the Mexican? Because I wanted to. Ain't nothing going to change that fact. You can say what you want. You can try to disrespect me, I'm just gonna laugh. If you ain't physically in my face trying to get that work, you're a joke. To the trolls that be on here, hey, gracias for continuing to watch me, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I don't care. For the dudes that, you know, are not elders, you're, you're like, what, 30 years old and you're talking like if you're 70, a 70 year old black man that's been through everything or you're some ex uh, black panther man, you're nothing. You're just another dude on my comments uh, wondering why I didn't run with you. I didn't want to, just plain and simple. I didn't want to. At one time, I could have been a sangre. Relatives didn't want me. So, uh, yeah, I got into my hood, and, I, and, and I'm loyal to it. Ask me about the suit. I'm loyal to it. 
It's just no if, ands, or buts. There's no between. There's no cuts. It's no cuts with mine. It's just double S and nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's not even to promote anything gang. That's just me being at a certain age and not really tripping off the bull. You continue to trip off the bull because that's all you have. You want to race bait and, and, and come on the channel and try to promote a, a hate because that's all you got. You're a small individual and you're looking for some type of validation. I don't need you to validate me. I don't need you to tell me I'm black. I know I'm black. I don't, you can say I'm not black, that still will mean nothing. My mom will probably spit in your face and tell you different and say that you're a hypocrite. But, you know, that's, that, that's nor here nor there. It's just at the end of the day, it's like, I'm going to be me. And this, this, all this video, I'm not even expecting it to get hits. But this, this video right here is just to let you know that it's just me. And you can get the hell over it or you can keep pushing. Don't need you on my channel. It's going to continue to grow without you. Stop, stop coming in my comments making it seem like I got things against black. Or uh, what, what did Fu say? Um, uh, Uncle Tom? Ain't that somebody that's black that acts white? You don't even know what category to put me in. It's so stupid. But, uh, yeah, you know, on that note... You know, I'm, uh, uh, my next video, I'm going to get into this full 6 now. I'm probably going to upload that video right after this. But I just wanted to get out there. You know what I mean? Some fools like shot fired and all this mierda. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, who cares? You know what I mean? I'm going to be me and you just need, it. You need to accept it or just keep pushing. Uh, and start race baiting. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's pretty much it. On that note, you enjoy your night. Late.